Uh, okay. Um, actually, it's my you know, second lighting talk. You know, here I'm going to share uh, one of my exploration on WebAssembly. Uh, it's something about the WebAssembly AI. You know, that's uh, running native WebAssembly AI application. Everyone. So a WebAssembly uh, is a binary instruction format for stack-based virtual machine. Uh, in other words, uh, WebAssembly virtualization is implemented as a stack-based virtual machine. Uh, this stack-based virtual machine can emulate a real CPU, then we can run that WebAssembly by the code. In the first, uh, first place, uh, WebAssembly was enabled to you know, power the web browser, but you know, now WebAssembly is becoming a great technology for our modern application based on sandbox scheme. So our WebAssembly also can run outside the web browser uh, with the WebAssembly runtime. WebAssembly runtime just uh, facilitates all of the interaction between uh, the stack and the environment. So what about uh, WebAssembly AI? Yeah, actually, there are a lot uh, happening, uh, like TensorFlow, JavaScript, Onyx Runtime Web, uh, WebDN, uh, et cetera. So uh, you know, for this case, you can find uh, you know, mostly um, WebAssembly AI yeah, you know, is running inside the web browser. They uh, use a CPU acceleration. Maybe they can on, on GPU, but probably with that WebGL or WebGPU. You know, uh, when the modern web browser you know, supports that you know, WebGL, which is a JavaScript API to use GPU, this API is designed for that Graphics processing is not very suitable for that general purpose computing and even machine learning. Um, now that's now that's not a problem, right? Another problem. Uh, what about other hardware accelerator? I mean, now besides our uh, NVIDIA GPU, uh, there are many many other hardware accelerators. We also need to support them for that web assembly. At this point, you know, I think once a neural network is better, once a neural network is proposed by assembly system interface API for machine learning, but they expect that one or someone to provide a different machine learning backends to support you know, the particular graph format. So I don't think currently you can use this to support you know, all the different AI hardware side written. So I think you know, can we have that better way you know, to get machine learning uh, into that web assembly you know, easily, especially supporting those different AI hardware side written. Okay, so for me, in terms of WebAssembly AI, you know, just come out this question, how can we deploy the wrong WebAssembly AI, everyone? And actually, WebAssembly AI app application uh, can access the low-level interface of machine learning frameworks you know, on that host. Just for some limitation, it works on CPU, or not GPU, not other hardware accelerator. So I think maybe we can start from there, do something, and let machine learning framework support those different AI hardware accelerator at the low level. And uh, if you know, after that, uh, Maybe you know, our WebAssembly application could live release to support those different AI hardware accelerator. Okay, so to just instead just come out this question: Can we support diverse AI hardware accelerator on machine learning frameworks at a low level? My answer is yes. So I'm um, basically I'm going to uh, leverage graph compiler to make this out. The graph compiler is something between that machine learning frameworks and the low-level device driver low-level library. The purpose of the graph compiler is to optimize the processing of forward, backward, pass over the computation graph. As you see here, you know, there are many graph compilers available you now support different graph, uh, different AI hardware accelerator. So you can imagine if we could support the different graph compiler, we can support uh, all of the existing AI hardware accelerator. But the thing here is you now the graph compiler is a third-party software, so we need to figure out how to enable that into machine learning framework seamlessly. So this is my solution. Now, first of all, just as I mentioned, with WebAssembly runtime, WebAssembly AI application can access the low-level interface of the machine learning framework on the host. Now, here we are first we are build that you know, graph compiler and some help into that library, and we have a special server system introduced. This can you know, hijack your WebAssembly AI application at the runtime and load through the library and also inject some code to the low-level interface of machine learning framework to make sure everything would be handled by that graph compiler. In fact, for example, when your WebAssembly AI application called API load model or load weight, it will go to our defined load model where we can retrieve your model and we can automatically you know, pass your model and compile that into you know, that intermediate reputation and load that at the graph runtime. When your WebAssembly AI application calls that API and you know, predict, it will go to our defined predict. We just use that preload graph runtime to do machine inference, get the result back to that WebAssembly AI application. So finally, your WebAssembly AI application can run all your hardware accelerator. And we support in those different graph compiler, you know, we can support any hardware accelerator. In that sense, I would say uh, your native WebAssembly application can run everyone. 
Um, yeah, that's all. Uh, for our limited time, I, can't, uh, I couldn't walk you through all this in detail. If you are interested in this, please uh, reach out to me through email and WeChat. Okay, thank you.